Is reliability important? TCP thinks so. And TCP is built to reliably deliver a stream of data connection from one computer to another. However, in certain cases, TCP's insistence on reliably delivering data can actually pr uh, produce poor performance for clients. So let's think about an example of this. So I'm on YouTube, I'm watching a cat video, uh, some adorable cats doing funny things like this one's I think about to jump in the bathtub or something like that. Okay, and, and down here, so you've probably seen this on the YouTube player before, this shows me uh, what the part of the video I've seen, and this down here shows me how much of the video YouTube has actually buffered. So this is the part of vid the video that YouTube has already downloaded and is stored on my browser. So I can see kind of anywhere in here, and as long as as the red part doesn't catch up with this gray part, I'm okay. But you've probably seen that happen if you used to YouTube before, particularly if your connection suddenly changes. Like if you walk outside or something and you're, you're watching something on YouTube and you suddenly go in from having a very fast connection to a very slow connection. So here's what will happen. You know, this red bar, this thing will be stopped and this red bar is like creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. And then you hit here and then you see this spinner that starts to go, you know, and, and it's just going to sit there waiting. Um, so what's wrong, right? This sort of highlights one of the fundamental problems with TCP, which is that this, this, you can imagine this as a stream of data, and TCP is, is fetching parts of the stream one after another after another. And so what happens if one of these pieces of the video gets lost? So this uh, part of the video didn't arrive. TCP is going to try to repair it. TCP says, oh, there's missing data here. I'm going to ask the uh, sender to resend that packet. And in the meantime, I'm actually not even going to deliver the rest of the video. I'm, I'm going to wait for this packet to arrive. This is the head of the line blocking problem. Now, let's say that I'm trying to watch this video. And let's say that there's actually a bunch of the rest of the video that's actually already arrived at my computer. There's just this one piece of the video that's missing. So there's two things I can do. The, one, the thing that TCP will force this system to do is it'll force the system to wait for that piece of data to arrive. That's super irritating. When they've studied video performance online, the thing that users dislike the most, and I suspect that you have probably experienced this, is when the video stops and has to wait and then it plays a few more seconds, stops again, it plays a few more seconds. So no one likes that. Uh, what I'd like is the video to continue to play smoothly. Now, you might wonder, how can I do that if there's some missing data? Very simply, I just don't show that frame. So. The small amount of data that's missing here might correspond to, let's imagine it corresponds to like a tenth of a second of the video or something like that. So another alternative would be I could just skip over that part of the video. In certain cases, I can sort of blur the, the before and after together so that you don't notice it. Um, you might see the video get blurry just for a minute as it continues to go. So in some cases, rather than spending a lot of time and effort trying to deliver everything reliably in order, it's better to just drop a few packets and move on. The same thing happens when people are using this for uh, using their computers for things like video chat. When I'm talking to you over a service like Skype, if one of those packets with a little bit of audio information gets lost, it's much better to just leave it out and expect that the other person will still be able to understand you and understand the conversation rather than having the whole connection stall for a long period of time. Um, and so this is, these are scenarios where, you know, rather than doing the standard thing, and I'm going to draw right on top of this cat, and using uh, TCP, which provides me with these reliable uh, data streams, I sometimes want to use approaches that look a little bit more like UDP. Um, you know, UDP, unreliable. I send a packet out there. If it gets there, great. If it doesn't get there, that's OK. Um, it's up to the endpoints to decide what to do. So if I'm streaming a video, if I'm streaming voice, if one packet gets dropped, move on. You know, that, 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 you know, that ship sailed. That part of the conversation is gone. That part of the video is just going to be sort of skipped over. It's much more important to keep up with what the user wants to do rather than worry you know, endlessly about trying to repair this one small mistake.